Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. That's a really long name to say. Uh, last time we started the game and we got our starter, um, which we're gonna check out right now. We've got Bjorn, our Blastoise, pure flying type, hasty nature, with Psybeam, Bone Rush, Iron Head, and Earth Power. Wow, his special attack is actually his worst stat. Which is fine, I guess, because, uh, three of his moves are, well, two of his moves, Bone Rush and, uh, uh, Earth and Iron Head are physical, but, you know. Oh, that has flinch chance, and that's a multi-hit move. Uh, confusion and lowering special defense. So, realistically, Bjorn is a good dude. He's a good dude. I guess he got bad special attack IVs. We also got the running shoes, which is nice. Is that Lyra again? No, it's the, it's the old guy. I made it. I just want to take it. There's not joking. Take it. Oh, the map card. Excuse me. There we go. So now does it automatically tell me which route to summon? Well, actually, that was just a glitch. <clears throat> Alright, what do we get? What can we get on Route 30? A spin rack. Now, the thing is, I shouldn't be that disappointed, because the more crappy things there are, um, the easier they are to be capturable. Okay, oh, that's a random item. I want that. That could be anything. Alright, Tyrogue! Uh, Tyrogue evolves at, like, level 20-something, so... It wouldn't be that... Um... Huh, you have Shadow Tag. Funny. Super effective with Psybeam. Cool. Good job. Good job, Bjorn. Good job. Okay, so, uh, Tyrogues have Shadow Tag. Putting that in the log. A Razor Fang. Okay. Uh, I wonder what that does. Uh, may cause the foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. Okay, I'll give that to Bjorn right now, just because, why not? I mean, he has Iron Head already, so it'd be like double chance with Iron Head, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's go grab an Apricorn. Oh, there's nothing to put it in. Okay. Oh! Hey, kiddo, how in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye catching house? Hold it right there. And you see that pack? Thub, not real, see Pokemon, Mr. Pokemon's house. Before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any Apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They're really quite useful. I have a feeling it's meant to be, so I have something for you. Apricorn box. You are a Mary Sue in Pokemon. Your character's always a Mary Sue. Okay, here we go. So the Apricorns, I'm pretty sure, are still Apricorns. But if they're not, then cool. It's a Gurn Apricorn. Okay, it's still an Apricorn. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna collect these things. I mean, depends on what they can do. I mean, I may look up if they can do sp specific things. Alright. Oh, okay. So I have to Psybeam each and every Tyrogue that I encounter. Every single one. Oh, but then I can't Bone Rush, like, Bidoof. I can't b Bone Rush that thing. And even then, if I try to Bone Rush anything... Ugh. Okay, whatever. I thought I was gonna get a full level up there, so whatever. Fuck. This is gonna get really annoying. I'm gonna run into shit. Especially if they're all Tyrogues! Dear Jesus, putting the rogue in Tyrogue, dear God. Okay. See, I can't go without Pokemon. I need Pokemon in my life. I need it. I need it so much. I need it. I crave it. Okay. There. Bjorn, I don't want... I don't... I At, at, well, at some... I do want the levels, but at the same time, I don't. Zapply. Okay. Well, that doesn't help very much. If I get a Bidoof, though, and it is electric, then that actually would help it a lot. And it, it would... It could evolve into electric type. Please not type. Fuck. Why can you not run away from shadow tag things? I mean, I understand switching, but not being allowed to friggin' um run away from battle? Like what the fuck? Whatever. Oh wait, trust me, it's gonna get a lot better in the series. You wanna know What am I learning? Attack order. Wow, that's a really weird move. High crit ratio. Uh seems like right now he has a really good physical attack. Um I don't want to get rid of Earth Power, but at the same time, uh, yeah, Bone Rush is physical. If he could get Earthquake, I mean, I like Earth Power, but I just don't think it's the move for you. So, there you go. I'll get rid of it for, for attack order. Plus, I can get good type coverage. So, there you go. Because you don't know what things could be. They're random types. So, you know, I mean, I got Tornadus, essentially, without, you know, any moves that Tornadus would know. All right, so here's Mr. Pokemon's house. There's an Apricorn over there. But I don't want it. <laughs> I just want to go see the dudes. Moo! You must be people. It was time to send an email to the person I'm earlier. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. This is what I'm Professor Hamza is having. Mystery egg. Alright, well, I want the egg. How about you can't find this guy to egg a Johto? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell what this is. He's the best way it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. Let's go for the face first though. Return the first though. Here's really sad for Mast. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Really appreciate it. What voice did I give him in Pokemon Red? I don't know. Oh, it's because he had the overworld sprite. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Reaper. I was just finished from visiting my friend Fresh Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what is this? A rare Pokemon? Um, you realize this is the fully evolved version of what I took in Indigo, you dumb fuck. <laughs> I see. So you must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm, okay, blah blah blah, who gives a shit? Yes, give me the Pokedex. And then after that, they would give me the something or other. Alright, I registered you because the game forces me to, so do that, blah blah blah. Okay, there. Alright, does Mr. Pokemon start flapping his lips? No? Okay, cool. Uh, so do I have mi so I- okay. Oh, he's gonna call about the robbery. Okay. Hello, Reaper. I'm the doctor! It's a terrible! I don't know, I don't know! Get, get out of here! Uh, Oops. Hey, Chad. Yeah? Don't park your car in front of Beverly's house anymore. Park in front of the van. Okay. Because I just know how people are. Okay. If you can, or, Daddy said you can't park your car in the driveway because your car is leaking oil. I know. So that's something else we have to look at. I know. Well, after 20 years, a loyal is fucked. Okay. okay so I could have added Wismer. Can you remember tomorrow? Yes! Thank you. Recording interruptions, my favorite. <laughs> Just, I'm in the middle of a recording, and you know what you do? You barge right into it and, and talk about my gosh dang car. And it's like, just, mom, no. Please stop. Okay, can I buy stuff in this mart? Well, actually, I should battle silver. Well, I mean, I'm gonna battle silver no matter what, so it's like... Okay, I may as well take, like, two. Two of these. And then two of these. And then I don't know how many potions they give you, but I can at least buy eight from the store. So let's see. Uh, I have five. Okay. I may as well just buy five more, because you don't know what Silver is gonna have. I don't know what Silver is gonna have. He should either have Mantike or, uh, he should either have Mantike or Sphiel. Mantike was a dragon type, and Sphiel was a ghost type. So, uh, okay, let's buy these. So we're going to be kind of running low on money, but at the same time, not really. I've also never played any Johto game to completion, so this will be a first for me if I can beat it. Which it probably will be. Alright. Come at me, Silver! Hmm. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? I uh, too have good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. All right, mystery man, which I'll name you later. So whatever. Rocker Ann. Okay. Okay, he has feel. I was I didn't want him to have Mantike because Mantike would have been harder to fight. Uh, so you're Ghost type, meaning I should hit you with an attack order, and we should be good, right? No, it resists. Ugh. Or right, whatever. Trick room. What the fuck are you trying to do here? You're doing okay for someone weak. Just shut up! Okay, I might as well just try to hit him with an iron head. Faint, but it failed. There you go. You should be dead. There you go. Stupid seal. Feel. Oh, your EXP gain is gonna be slow. Hm, you happy you won? I only made up some of my money back. Thanks, bro. Do you wanna know who I am? I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Give it back, it's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. And yes, I know he's a guy, but you know. A lot of people who don't really care about gold and silver that much might assume he's a chick. So, 
Just to clear it up now, he's a guy. So that's why I gave him the edgelord voice. Cool, cool. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, there you go. You always have to give Silver an edgelord voice. It's the only voice that fits him, really. All right, so we're gonna hop over here, and they should give us our Pokeballs where we can go hit up our encounter. So anyway, there you go. We can also hit up the random name generator and uh, give Silver a name. I mean, technically, everybody calls him Silver, but you know, whatever. Whoever did it will come back to the site. All right, so you must be the one who did it. Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. I saw there was a red-haired boy and look at it in the building, duh. What, you battled a boy like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yes, I did, I happened to. This boy's name? Uh, his name will be, I don't believe that can fit. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters. So that's too long. Golnar. <laughs> no! Gol is mad at me! Gol is straight mad at me from Red when I disowned him, so he reincarnated himself into Silver. What the fuck? His name is Golnar. Okay. I see, so Golnar was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red haired individual. There we go, I named him Golnar. Which is funny. Reaper, I'm glad I understand you are an innocent. See you later. Thanks, Lyra! Reaper, this is terrible! I am the egg to you, which you're gonna probably give it back to me, which doesn't make any sense. What? First time give me back to this is just true. This is credible. This is this is really really. I even really this is gonna be fun. I just really want to take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. He managed to be all Gym Leader, so he will eventually change the Pokemon League Champion. Oh no ha! You're assuming I'm gonna lose, huh? Fuck you, Elm. Okay, the lock doesn't end until we beat Red, by the way. So you know, there you go. I can lose even after I beat Lance, the champion. So there we go. Go to the city. Are you sure the challenge for the city team? Reaper, challenge it to Jim Scatter and I will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. Can I have that egg, please? Talk about I'll call anything or learn anything about that egg. Okay, you're probably, again, you probably just give it to me, right? I've played this game before. They straight just give it to you right back, I think. Otherwise, I don't know. Alright, oh yeah, she saves your money. Every time you receive prize money, it's safe for you. Okay, everybody says yes because they're nice. Okay, there we go. I'll go on. Okay. Oh, plus, I think Bajoran could learn fly. I mean, I mean, it was a thing. It would be a thing I'd have to pull, put up with. All right. Do you give me the egg now? Okay. Never mind. Okay. Uh, do you give me Pokeballs? Oh, wait. No. No, no, no. No, no. You know what happens? Lyra gives you Pokeballs. That's what happens. Never mind. I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid again. Also, I've never had that black screen. I didn't have the black screen glitch. So, yeah. There you go. I fixed it. There you are. Reaper, you can catch all Pokemon with Pokeballs. I love how my, um, I love how Bjorn is like 10 times larger than, <laughs> he's like double the size of that Meryl, so he can just like pff, crush it flat. All right, Lyra, have fun. All right, what's your static encounter? Is it the same? Just like that. Oh, is it too fast? Try again, come this way. Okay, I, you could have just not done that. Drowsy? Does that mean I have to fight that? It, she has a Pinaka! Okay. <laughs> Slow start! What the fuck? What the hell? What the fuck? Okay, resists. Because obviously she can't lose this fight, duh. I mean, this thing has 100% catch rate, probably, to make the tutorial work. Okay, it takes me to start as many for a Pokeball. The only one with their HP low is you! Oh my god. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't take it anymore. I can't. I can't do this. Man, this is a good late Christmas present. This is great. I'm fucking loving this shit. Oh my god. She has Pinaco and Drowsy, which will evolve into stupid bullshit. I mean, I don't know if you fight Lyra, though. See, just like that! It's better just to lower your boat target's HP more than I did, or make it sleep or something. You try all kinds of things to make it work. Give me these. Okay. Uh. 
I don't want to immediately blow my encounter, but at the same time, I don't know where I, where the fuck I am. So, never mind, there's my encounter already. Dupes, not dupes. Togepi! Oh, it's gonna take forever to evolve. It's gonna take forever. I mean, I'm gonna have to look at it, see how it evolves. Let's look at it. Uh, T, we're gonna look for T. Uh, boo, 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 boo. We have Togepi. When does it evolve? Oh, my fucking happiness. Oh. <laughs> okay, how many Pokeballs did it give you? Five? That's not enough. That's really not enough. Alright, let's see if we can just catch it straight. Probably not, though. One? Two? Nope. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't. I knew it wouldn't. See, this isn't like 6th Gen and Beyond where they're like, 100% catch rate! All the time. Oh. This is, why I brought, this is why I bought those antidotes, I knew. Uh, so you're a poison type, so I should hit it with an attack order? It's probably gonna kill it, but whatever. Yeah, it's super effective. Alright, whatever. Alright, no encounter for this route, but whatever. Yeah, Bjorn is just too powerful. Bjorn is too... he hits way too hard. Okay, uh, I should walk around and see if poison does anything, so... Yes, it does! It does stuff! Okay. I just wanted to figure it out. I just wanted to... I just... I just wanted to know, okay? Nah, I'm not gonna use poison. I'm not gonna use that right now. Okay. So, we lost an encounter, but honestly, I don't give a fuck. I wanna buy more Pokeballs, because they seriously don't give you enough. Poochina probably would've been easy to catch. But honestly, I'm kinda glad that I didn't get Togepi, because... Honestly, raising that thing would take like seven years, so honestly, I'm kind of glad that I didn't get it, but at the same time, I lost an encounter already, so like, fucking whatever. I could have had Zubat, which would have evolved at like level 20-something. So whatever. Now, I do not want to give, uh, Bajoran this the fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna go that route up there. Mooma! This thing's probably electric type, which uh, would help with um, what's its face, uh, the zap plate, because I have that. For some reason, I have the zap plate. Okay, uh, what else can we find? Uh, another Bidoof. You can hear my incessant clicking in the background. They, they, it's the stylus. Don't worry, it's my virtual stylus. I bought a laser stylus. Fuck you. Literally everything I have is super effective against you. I hit you with a bug move, you died. I can hit you with a steel move, you'll die. I'll hit you with a psi beam, you'll die. Everything kills this thing. Everything. So the Togepi line is friggin' useless because they get destroyed by my starter. So if I find Toget Togetic on the next route, it doesn't even matter, which at that point. Honestly though, I would take um Oh, please. Okay, you have Pokeballs. I'm gonna buy six of those. There you go. I only have 200 bucks. There you go. What do you sell? TMs? Airmail and Heal Balls. Okay. I could actually take Heal Balls if I statused, but guess what? I can't status because fucking Bjorn is too goddamn strong. <laughs> Alright, so can we get to Route 30 without accidentally bumping into something? Let's find out. Okay, could've grabbed that Apricorn. Guess what? I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit! Alright, there we go. So we're gonna go to Route... 49? 46. Okay. I knew it was 40-something. Okay, our, our Route 46 encounter is... Mime Jr. I saw this thing earlier. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. So, I know Psybeam was a neutral? Psybeam was neutral, but I don't know. Yeah, Psybeam was neutral. Don't die. Okay, me first, but it failed. Of course it would. Okay, we're gonna toss a Pokeball at you, and we should be good. We should be Gucci. Probably. If it doesn't catch, I'll be extremely concerned. I'm concerned now. What the fuck? I can't hit it again! Oh, okay. Just keep me firsting over and over. But don't waste my Pokeballs, because then guess what I have to do? Skipping. I have to... Then fucking skip encounters. Okay, there we go. We got it. Good job, Mime Jr. Do not test my patience. There we go. Mime Jr.'s data was added to the Pokedex. It's normal grass type. Okay, that works for me. In an attempt to confuse its enemies, it mimics its enemy's moveset. Then it wastes no time in making itself scarce. Wait, what? What? It's fucking weird. 
Okay, give a nickname to it. Of course I would. Uh, let's generate another nickname, Robert. <laughs> it works. It's a dude's name, so whatever. Okay, we got Robert the Mime Jr. So your normal grass type with me first. And is that it? Is that it? Me first, constrict, quick attack, and tackle. Okay. Okay. And then, I think constrict is better than me first. Like, why? Why would you want this? Okay. So, what do I want? Uh, yeah, I don't need to switch his moves. Like, they're fine the way they are. But, Robert. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He has an item. What item do you have? A tiny mushroom. I can sell that for cash. Thank you, Mime Jr. Thanks, Robert. Thanks for actually being kind of useful. Uh, so we're gonna—I'm gonna find out how you evolve it. I have a sneak. I have a. It's somehow disturbingly. I think it might be friendship again. <laughs> I don't want it to be friggin' happiness. I don't. Level up with mimic. To get Mime Jr., I also need to breed while holding on incense. I think they change that. Which means, I guess we're just stuck with Mime Jr. Unless he learns Mimic, then we have to do it. Unless I found it in a TM, then I would just give it to him and just level him up with, like, a rare candy or something if I found it. Whatever. Uh, I don't know if I should put him in the front, but I don't wanna, because at the same time, he only knows normal attacks. So, like, fucking, if he finds a ghost, it's, it's a wrap, or a fire type, or that Togepi, it's a wrap. You know, plus he's low on health. I don't want to hurt him. But, you know what? I'm a man for taking risks. But, hey, we're going to hit Cherry Grove City. Uh, should I save the next encounter for the next episode? Screw it. We're going to save the next encounter. Uh, I mean, we got to do our first trainer battle anyway. So, I guess I could do some off-screen training. I mean. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. 23, 22, 23 minute episode. Fine. Whatever. So, we're just going to hit that save button. Bloop. Because apparently in DS Mime, you want to save, save, save with Gen 4 games. So, because you never know when the black screen glitch can hit you. Anyway, so, next time on the Pokemon Soul Silver Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, we are going to be going up Route 30 and seeing what we can do there. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.